Hello everyone, my name is Ashna and I am from Mumbai. I am the founder of Pozo Art, an art blogging website that posts interviews with various artists in an attempt to bridge the gap between us and their works. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook and do like, comment and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Based artist Vinod Sharma ji, who is a pioneer in many ways, starting his professional career with a fellowship in printmaking at the famous Lalit Kala Academy in New Delhi. His 50-year art career has been steady and linear, with each exhibition giving him greater confidence and success. Lauded for his solo exhibitions throughout India, like in Kochi, Hyderabad, Baroda and Chandigarh and also internationally in London, New York, Mauritius and Bangkok, he is the recipient of many accolades including the Senior Art Fellowship in Painting from the Government of India in 1999, awards from the Sahitya Kala Parishad, the Rajasthan Lalit Kala Academy and the All India Graphics Exhibition in the 90s just to name a few. He is now known for his rockscapes, landscapes, seascapes and mindscapes. So without further ado, let's talk to Vinodji and get to know a little bit more about his work. Hello Vinodji, how are you today? I am fine, thank you. Thank you so much for being on Pozo and doing this interview with us for our viewers to learn a little bit more about your journey, your life and your art. Thank you, Ashna. I am really very happy and feel honored that you have come to my studio to take an interview and I will be very happy to tell you about my work, my journey. Whatever question is there, I will answer. Uncle, I have seen in your other interviews that you have mentioned that your family wasn't very keen about you pursuing a serious career in art. Yeah, I was born in an artist family, but those days every parent wants to become uh, wants their son to become doctor or engineer. So even my parents say that, you know, you have to take science and you have to do engineering, mm -hmm. etc. But, you know, I was never keen in the studies. So after three years of schooling, I failed again. And then I said, I can't do anything except art. Mm -hmm. So my mother helped me and she said, okay, do what a father was again mm -hmm. against. Then I joined art college and the way it is, Things started then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your father, your mother and their friends were also artists. Ah, they were very friendly with me. They were both were artists. My father was a very senior artist. My mother was a school teacher, senior school teacher. So, you know, we had a very good art atmosphere in the house. But, you know, some of the other, because of the other influences, they don't want that I should suffer as they suffered. So they wanted me that I should have a very comfortable or good life. Those days, doctors were doing very well, and mm -hmm. now also, <laughs> and engineers were also doing very well. But, yeah. but you know, because of that atmosphere of my house, everything was inborn, and I was very keen in art. Yeah. So I joined art college later. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uncle, you did your masters in Baroda. So how was that experience for you? Did your uh, perception of art change then? Uh, do you have any fun anecdotes you can share with us today? Yeah, Baroda was a great place. It was a very different experience from Delhi College of Art to Baroda College of Art. It was entirely a different concept of teaching. They never used to believe in attendance okay. or, you know, I we used to work in only night. Day we used to go for a movie, we used to roam around, we used to have friends, lot of friends. But evening, night, you know, we come to studio at 9 o'clock, there's a key there and then we whole night we used to work. Okay. So we thought that we did a college or whatever it is, but mm -hmm. all the teachers were so friendly. They never used to say, you know, 
what we have done, what not. You know, only thing that you have to give submit that in the end your your portfolio. That yeah, thing. So there was great liberty. Okay. You could think of your work. You could do whatever you want. There was no restriction like college or school. Okay. So it was such a great place, yeah. which really gave a new dimension to my work and uh, to my personality also. I feel whatever I am enjoying or I am freely doing, it is because of my Baroda Institute. <laughs> <laughs> so uncle, how has your art evolved from your time in Baroda? Like what mediums did you use then? What techniques did you use then? And how are you approaching your art now? I was a printmaking student in there in Baroda and we used to do etching, lithography and cell screen and I used to paint also because I was very keen in painting and my composition was through a window. First I used to do interior exterior. Now like you know my composition is from window, there is a window then I see the landscape. When I came from there to Delhi then I thought that why is this all restriction about the window and this thing. Then I removed the window and I removed all these you know colors uh, like you have a blue color of the sky and gray color in this thing. So I, I deleted my color scheme also whatever color I now I want which was helping me because of my graphics too. So, and technique and texture everything came since I was a student of printmaking all this texture has come and you know all this restriction of painting went when I came from Baroda. Now I am very free, I, whatever I want to do, I paint red sky, I paint green sky sometimes, I paint black sky, <laughs> you know. So it, it, it is nothing, nothing, that, that helped me. Yeah. That confidence they gave me because yeah. there was no teacher, there was yeah. no attendance, there was no uh, disciplined kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Discipline was there but it does not mean, they used to have always a freedom that you do whatever yeah. you want to do. Yeah. So, which really gave me a great yeah. help in my work and freeness and my yeah. way of thinking yeah. became very broad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about experimenting a lot with colors, with printmaking, with graphics. Can you give us, share some more details? Yeah, actually yeah. they taught us that you know, you forget all these formulas, mm -hmm. whatever you have learned in, until now, now it is not going to work. Right. So, you have to find out your own language. For that you have to do experimentation. So I used to do a lot of experiments, you know. Previously whatever you used to say, we used to see thing and paint. Now we don't see. Now we don't take any reference. Now we don't take any thing. So you paint whatever you want to do. <laughs> that freedom was there from day one till the, I was there. Yeah. So which gave such a confidence to an artist, you know, because it takes hell of a time when you call pass from college to become your style or you took do your work, it will take more than 10-15 years. But in Baroda, I feel that, you know, the, the beginning they have started that, you know, think in your way, forget what you have done, a past is past, now you have to come out, you have to complete the word. So you, whenever you have your language, then only you can survive, otherwise it is difficult. Right, correct, definitely. So that's why this, this study, MFA has helped me and Baroda is a place I think it is one of the best institute in India and all the teachers are not teachers, they are very friendly, they talk to you about anything except art. Yeah. They don't talk about art. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> that, that really worked. And uncle, are there any works that you are currently working on? Um, what is the process of starting a canvas for you? How do you like, what do you think, what do you, what do you do on the canvas, how do you prep it? Actually I see first white canvas hmm. and then I think for half, two or three hours that what to do, what to paint, you don't know. Then I throw some colors and let the form come and then after that I develop. And once I went to Jaipur and I met an astrologer okay. and he told me that don't use red, don't wear red. And you know because I don't know that is a very violent color and we are very stubborn people. We don't believe in any discipline mm. and nothing. Yeah. So I started using red. Oh. I said now I will paint red, I will start painting red canvas yeah. painting. and now everybody wants red painting. Yeah, everybody likes red and gold, gold painting. Yeah. You know, like. So I am doing these days a completely red and gold and black series. Okay. 
and uh, I'm really enjoying. Yeah. Though, because since I don't paint landscape and I don't paint what I see, yeah. that's why, you know, everything is acceptable. Yeah. If I do a realistic landscape, if I do anything, then people will say, I have never seen red sky and I've never seen red rocks like this. Yeah. So I can take that liberty because we never, never did anything in discipline, frankly. Yeah. We are very free. Yeah. This is the quality, this is the artist can do. You know, he can do whatever you want. Mm. Even in my my profession, in painting, I can do whatever I want and you have to accept it, you like it. You don't like or don't like it, yeah. it's okay. But in any other profession, suppose you are in filmmaking or acting, even an actor has to come and say, director, sir, what I have to do? You have to follow his instruction. Here you are free to do whatever you want to do it and then, you know, you are the boss of your work. Yeah, <laughs> and, and if you like it, fine. If you don't like it, it's okay. But I will paint this only. Yeah. <laughs> this is the liberty we are getting. Yeah. And uh, would you say that colors depend on your mood or your emotions? How you decided why red? It is a very bold color. No, but it, it, this was a very jiddy <laughs> something. Yeah. You know, I got a drawer, I open a drawer and yeah. there's many colors. Sometimes whatever first color comes in the hand, I paint that. <laughs> you know, because if I don't plan anything, mm. I don't know what I'm going to paint. Mm. So let us start and I start, I start, you know, mm. you get your uh, way, mm. how it is going to proceed, what color next you want, what mm. color next you want. Yeah. Because planning in art is not possible. It's not, I don't know, but people who are doing it, maybe they are, but it is not my process. No, yeah. And most of the artists, they don't believe in that process that first they plan, mm. ऐसे करेंगे ऐसे करेंगे ऐसे करेंगे वैसे नहीं होता वो अपने आप ही होता है कुछ होता है तो आर्ट का ये मजा है और अभी जो है आई एम प्लानिंग फॉर माय नेक्स्ट शो आई गोट अ शो ए बिग शो कमिंग इन दिल्ली दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सेम गैलरी आर्ट पिल्ट ग्रीम नाउ आई एम हैविंग थ्री गैलरी शो ए बिग त्रिवेणी कला संगम श्रीधरानी एंड दिस अबाउट फोर्टी पेंटिंग्स आर गोइंग टू एग्जीबिट एंड ऑल बिग साइज मोस्टली He say he used to come yeah. in next year. Yeah. <laughs> Ma- this, show? this will be in the end of Feb or first okay. week of March okay. next year. Okay. Because I, I told them I need at least six months. Yeah. Uh, now I now the things are opening. I can come and work in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's depend upon the situation. If the situation is not good, mm. may not be. Yeah. <laughs> but let's hope. Let's hope. Hopefully. Let's hope yeah. everything will be all right. Yes, everything will be fine. Now things are looking very positive, mm. and uh, we have got a great energy to paint. अच्छा लगेगा करेंगे मजा आएगा आउट योर आर्ट कैंप्स फर्स्ट फॉर्मेट वॉज दैट नो बडी विल पेंट इन वॉट वुड बी योर मैसेज पेंटिंग लुक्स वेरी इजी बट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट वट एवर आई एम एंजॉइंग और आई एम फ्री वी डूइंग इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ माई बड़ौदा इंस्टीट्यूट